Now in California, a community in Hollywood Hills is doing its part to help save endangered monarch butterflies. The species was on the brink of extinction in 2020, but their numbers are improving. Joy Benedict has more on what's being done to make sure they continue to take flight. There's something in the air in the Hollywood Hills, as the blooming is a beacon for the butterfly. One, two, three, something should be coming out of her. You saw the egg? Oh my God, yeah. The monarch butterflies are laying eggs and flying high, but it's not by accident or even by nature. It's a plan by this community as the monarch is on the endangered species list. We have one little guy left. Stephen Pine is raising his monarchs inside. They're beautiful insects and we care about you know, beautiful little insects. We don't want them to go extinct. He says when the Hollywood Knowles Garden Club started telling everyone about the need for milkweed to keep the butterflies alive, he got two small plants and ended up with two dozen caterpillars. It looked like an alien takeover um, at one point when you had all of them just going to town on our plants. Like they, they literally chewed them to the nubs of the stalks. With the temperatures rising, he brought his tiny plants and tiny caterpillars inside. We had so many caterpillars, I had to go around the neighborhood and find, you know, random milkweed plants and steal leaves to keep our caterpillars fed. They can smell milkweed for up to two miles away. Charles Malky so is the co-chair of the Garden Club and owns a plant product company. He handed out milkweed to his neighbors as it's the only plant the monarch caterpillars can eat. It's shocking that they've hit the endangered species list last year. We all need to take that additional step to support their populations by dedicating some of our real estate to them. Especially since this was once their habitat. Our homes have taken away from their real estate. But scientists say it's not construction killing this winged tiger. It's the herbicide that kills the milkweed and the pesticide that stops the flight. How bad of shape are they in? It's been really bad. We probably have only about 1% of the monarchs that we would have seen 40 years ago. Dr. Jeff Holmquist is an ecologist at UCLA. He says we also can't rule out the effect of climate change. As the climate changes, we may start to have more of these mismatches between plants and the insects that depend on them. Butterflies migrate based on the temperature, but the warmth can be deceiving, allowing them to fly to their next location too soon. So they've left their coastal overwintering habitat gone inland to find milkweed and oops, little or no milkweed there. So that's that's a problem. Which gives this community just one more reason to plant it. This here is a seed pod and you can see the beautiful seeds. And its beautiful friend, the orange and black banded fluttering staple of fall, which this community hopes will soar for generations to come. And now it's time to hear from you. For this week's writing question, we want to hear your ideas for how you can help migrating butterflies in your community. Send us your answers using the inbox form online or via email. And if you're adding a drawing, we might be able to show it on the next episode.